Devin Haney proves that the deal that he gave Shakur was real. He says that the 25% is uh, more than what Shakur made combined of all his fights. He also says that um that he um if he was such a B I T C H that Shakur should have just took the fight and got a fight at a shot at all the undisputed titles. Um, if he felt like he was so easy and so green. Um, that's what I said. I mean, Shakur said the same thing about um Frank Martin not taking the fight. And Shakur doesn't even have a belt. You know what I'm saying? So Frank Martin, uh, at one thirty five he just fought two top ten guys, so to say he's a duck, that wouldn't be so good because um, uh, Haney, I would have to call Shakur a duck too if, if that's the rules we're going by, and I haven't done call anybody a duck, but to say that he um didn't take the fight because he didn't want to do it, he need fifty fifty, nobody's giving out fifty fifty right now, especially promoters. Promoters ain't giving out fifty fifty right now. They're not finna hand out 50-50 when the fight hasn't even built up to the point where you can even hand a guy 50-50. Think about it. Ryan Garcia has to have all these Instagram followers and all this hype behind him. He has to have all this internet success just to even compete with the level of success or fans that Tank Davis has right now. Tank Davis has people that come to fights in Atlanta, uh, D.C., Baltimore, Vegas, L.A. He p packed out L.A. L.A. was packed. So, um, I feel like everybody has to try to take the deals that they, they're offered, especially their career high deals. I already have a video about that, about Shakur giving out career high paydays. But if Devin Haney sits up here and say, hey, man, I gave him more money than he ever had. Made in his career. I offer him that 25%. Y'all think it's not nothing, but it's something. You know what I'm saying? Whether you got to split it with this guy, this guy, this guy, that's not my problem. All I know is that's the most money somebody offered you, and that's what I offered you. You know, people going to say, well, the offer's not real and all that other stuff. Well, you can say the same thing about the Frank Martin offer. You can say that's not real. But you picking and choosing now. I'm not picking and choosing. I'm just going off the facts. Yeah, Devin Haney said he offered the contract. He offered the contract. Shakur said he offered Frank Martin the contract. He offered Frank Martin the contract. Frank Martin never said that no one offered him a contract. And Shakur never said no one offered him a contract. So let's dead all this talk about. Um, obviously, they don't feel like the fights are big enough yet. Them are the promoters. So obviously, they're still trying to build it up. And Shakur is still mentioning Frank Martin, so he's definitely interested in that fight still. It's not like he's going away about that. If he did, he wouldn't have mentioned him. I'd rather him talk about Lomachenko, who's a bigger fighter, and that would be a bigger promotion for him. But he's more serious about the Frank Martin fight, so he still seems like he wants that. But Devin Haney confirms what we said, though. People try to make it seem like 25% of his fight is nothing. When you just seen Cambosis, he didn't get 25%, but Cambosis made Cambosis made more money than everybody last year. Uh, if your name ain't Canelo and a couple of other guys, Cambosis made like, like $15, $20 million. Almost. If not that, if he made, I think he made $10 or $15 million. Man, he made a lot of bread last year fighting Devin Haney. A lot of money. I'm talking about he made a lot of money fighting Devin Haney. That's why he's not even <laughs> He's chilling right now. He ain't calling out nobody. Cambosa's chilling right now. He got paid. The same. He got basically almost the same kind of check that uh, Jamal Charlo got. But he had two fights, though, with Devin Haney. Man, he's chilling. He's not. He cashed out. You know what I'm saying? He's not worried about anything. Now, that's a guy. You can sit up here and say, oh, he ain't take this and he ain't take But he, Devin Haney, he got paid with him. And what did Devin Haney do? Took that couple of million. I don't even know if it was a couple of million. It might have been one or two. Whatever it was, it was low. It was under five. He took that, whatever they gave him, which was low, flat rate. Not no percentage like everybody else talking about. He took the flat rate what they gave him. Went and got the belts. 
defended the belts, then went and fought Lomachenko. So anybody going out here going to tell me that Lomachenko, fighting Lomachenko is ducking Tanka uh, or Shakur Stevens? Let me ask that question real quick. Is fighting Lomachenko ducking Tank or uh, or um, Shakur Stevens? And Devin Haney was already having trouble making 135. That's what the haters was already saying. Oh, he, look, he's skinny. His face going in. Okay, cool. But he at 140 now, though, for a reason. See, y'all y'all made him go to 140 because you already knew he wasn't making weight. So they even put that information out there. He's like, okay, cool. Everybody know now I can't make weight like that. So let me go ahead at 140. And took a big fight at 140. I know dudes that been at 140. They've been at 140, 147, 154, 10 years, and ain't fought nobody. At least Regis Progray fighting somebody. Regis Progray, he, I, it looked like he want to fight people. Because he's taking Josh Taylor fights and things like that. But uh, these guys, they not fighting anybody. Shakur got a big fight coming up. But to sit up here and say all these guys are just taking big fights. and Devin Haney got to fight Lomachenko and Shakur this year. And he got to fight Tank. Man, come on, man. That's unrealistic. That's unrealistic, man. That is unrealistic. That's like telling LeBron, hey, guard Kobe first quarter, then get Michael Jordan, then get Tracy McGrady the third quarter. Like, come on, bro. No, I'm not finna do that. I ain't finna do what everybody else doing. People getting bigger checks than I am. And they ain't fighting these Lomachinkos and this guy and that guy. Then when Te Te uh, Tia Fimo beat Lomachenko, he gets treated, bro. Tia Fimo has lost, really, he lost two fights. But I'm not going to, uh, that Japanese uh, fighter before Lomachenko fight, bro, he was whooping on him. Bro, but um, I would say since the Lomachenko fight, Tia Fimo really hasn't done anything. I mean, he did the Josh Taylor fight. Cool. That's okay. That's cool. Josh Taylor lost to a guy who just came from 135. But, um, and Josh Taylor, that was after the Catterall fight? No. So, to sit up here and uh, try to make it seem like, oh, yeah, well, Tia Fimo, people ain't say he was running from 135. He doesn't have to fight anybody at 135. He moved straight up to 140, got his credit for uh, fighting Cambosis and losing, and he got his credit for uh, the Loma Chico fight. Almost losing that the second half because Loma Chico was coming back, and uh, he's getting treated like a top fighter just for beating Cambosis and Loma Chico. Devin Haney does the same thing, and he's in prove it mode, so he has to prove himself, or he gets to he got to be called a B I T C H. Nah, buddy. I don't know who, bro. That's what I was saying about the new generation. I don't know who, bro, be, be hanging around. But, bro, to be to call another the guy who fights that, bro, you going to have to. Nah. Because he didn't call Frank Martin that and Devin, Devin Haney. I don't know. It's up to them dudes what they do when they see you. But I don't think they used to somebody calling them that that they actually know and been around. I don't think they used to hearing nobody say that. So that's going to be new for them. I don't know how they, they don't even know how they probably going to react, probably. So, that's between y'all when y'all see each other. But, uh, what I would say about this is, man, we just got to wait and see, man. See how these other guys line up against these other guys right now, the fights they taking. Because the De Los Santos fight got made real fast. It got made faster than any fight I've ever seen in my life. So, we got to see what the plan is. Because, like, um, a lot of people said these fighters they'll say, "Oh, you're not in the plans," or uh, you got some of these guys saying uh, Tia Fimo was gonna fight Tank, but Tank team said he's not in the plans. I don't know if that's true because Tank was the one who said he wanted to fight Tia Fimo, so I don't I don't know really what what the situation is around Tia Fimo. I'm not gonna try to guess. He was just retired, so. I don't know what he's doing. He's retiring. He's coming out fighting top fighters on top rank again, or oh yeah, problem top rank. So a lot of these guys really don't know. So Devin Haney handing out twenty five percent. 
is right around what he needs to be doing because a lot of these other guys, they're not even handing out any kind of fight deals. I haven't heard anybody say they offered Devin Haney anything for a belt. This year, last year, the year before that, uh, two years ago, three years ago. So at least he's even reaching out. These other guys weren't even reaching out trying to get a deal. They'll be like, yeah, I'm trying to fight so-and-so. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to fight too. Well, send me a deal. Well, you got to talk to Bob about that. Okay, then, go talk to Bob. Why you on, Why are you talking to me? Go talk to Bob. Go talk to Al. Go talk to Eddie. Don't talk to me. Uh, I, I can figure out things on my end. Go talk to them. And then you come back to me about what you got to talk about. But, no, nah, we send it. Some people... Some people can send an a, a offer. Believe it or not, some people are in a position where they can send an offer. And some people are not. Just like uh, Deontay Wilder told Eddie Hearn, I mean, uh, Andy Ruiz recently, hey, take the offer as you see it. It's the best offer you're going to be able to get at this time. If not, peace be on to you then. And that's all I got. Like and subscribe.